All right, so you just bought a Wolverine Storm regulator and you're not sure how to use it. Step one, take your air tank, take the regulator. As you're screwing this on, you're gonna hear the pressure from the tank go to the regulator or you'll kind of feel it as you're twisting it on. There's mine. I'm now gonna give it more turns till it actually bottoms out. We're now maxed out in the tank. After you already have that done, next step is you wanna adjust your FPS to whatever you need by adjusting the pressure in the regulator. You're going to take the provided line, or whatever line you so choose to run, plug it in, plug it into your gun, and here we are just at 80 PSI. So you're at the chrono, you're not chronoing the desired results, and you want to go up in FPS. You're going to take the provided 332nd Allen key, and the adjustment is right here below the gauge. You're going to stick it into the hole. So for more PSI, you're going to go counterclockwise. And if you had to go down in PSI, you would turn it clockwise. Okay, so you've got the PSI that you need to be at. Your FPS is good. You want to do whatever you need to do. The next step, the field song, you need to tournament lock it. So what you need to do is take the regulator off the tank. You do so by doing as so. You're going to turn the regulator one full turn from where it sits right now. I don't know if you heard that, but it should depressurize right there. Now you can take the gun that's already plugged into and just fire some semi or an auto shot. And you should see the gauge here should go down. You'll see that the pressure left the regulator. Gun's no longer firing. I'm good to remove the line. And now you can twist the regulator off your tank. Now you need to tournament lock it. Well, you can either put a sticker, some fields have a sticker, AMS does stickers to split receivers, they can put that there. Or you can use the provided tournament lock, like so. You just slide it over. As you can see, there's a, a slot here milled into the body of the regulator, and there's some slots milled into the actual tournament lock. So slide that over. You'll have a zip tie, and you're gonna interweave the zip tie in between the slots here. So here we go, you're just gonna do it like so. Come in. You're going to go over this. It's real easy. Then connect the zip tie. Pull all the way through. Feel a little clip because you want the regular to look real sweet while it's in your backpack and no one else can see it. And as you see, the tournament lock cannot go down. Can't be removed unless the zip tie is cut and your adjustment is covered. That's how you use a Wolverine Storm Regulator.